high. Understanding why deals are lost can have more value than understanding why deals are won. So how to turn lost opportunities into future success? I'm going to give you three points how to get best out of lost deals and why analyzing closed lost deals is critical for optimizing your sales strategy. Firstly, measure it. You may hear of different ways to capture lost reasons in your CRM, like a dropdown with predefined options or a descriptive report in a node or field. Which one to go? I would recommend go for both. A playbook with open questions uh, where sales would elaborate more on the deal would give you deeper insights into reasons um, that may not be classified and you can explore more a dark zone. At the same time, establish proper taxonomy of categories and subcategories that would fit your industry and business. It will allow you to visualize data and give you quantitative data. Think of the root reason for a prospect going away. Reasons that you can translate into uh, actions to improve your product or services. Instead of deciding for a competitor, you would like to know whether that was because of pricing, product fit, payment terms. Of course, collect information on who you are losing against, but it's not the lost reason itself. Beside the reason, I recommend capturing the stage at closed lost. This would tell you at what point in the pipeline you have a leaking bucket. You see a high drop um, after a demo and the primary reason is product too complex for needs. Think how you can showcase the solution differently and focus only on the features that would be relevant for your prospect and make it simple. Lastly, ensure data consistency. Enable the rules in CRM to collect this information in the monetary fields. All right, once you have it measured, learn on it. That's the second um, pillar. Create dashboard in re and reports in CRM that would be used by, and it's, here is the critical point, all relevant teams, such as sales, obviously, but also marketing and product. Let's see an example dashboard in HubSpot that would help you analyze the, the lost deals. So firstly, an overview over time uh, about the, the volume and the value of the lost deals broken down uh, by the source. So whether it comes from inbound or outbound um, sources. Below, um, information about uh, win and loss rate. Again, uh, this with the distribution over time. Uh, so we can see the ratio between what you won and what you lost and the high level uh, metric for uh, win and loss rate. Afterwards, um, information about uh, deals uh, lost by rep. So you can see who is having the most difficulties with uh, closing the deals, uh, as well as um, the breakdown uh, of individual deals sorted uh, by the amount. Next, the stage at closed loss. So uh, by deal owner and distributed over time. So firstly, um, uh, by deal owner, so we can see uh, where specific people have uh, problems and where the deals are dropping. And um, over time, so we can see more trends. And lastly here, uh, categories. So high level category, whether it's uh, caused by pricing, whether it's caused by product, timing, etc. So you can see the cumulative number over time and the share of uh, each category, uh, but also uh, break down uh, into subcategories. So for pricing, whether it's coming from budget constraints, whether it's coming from pay payment terms and the likes, product timing and so on, you can replicate uh, uh, depending on the, uh, the master categories, uh, high level categories that you have for your uh, business. Back to our third pillar, that is action it. For situations where there is a matter of timing and since should recontact uh, prospect in future, have a process in place that would uh, create a task, uh, send a reminder for sales, so they re-engage with prospects in future at a certain time. Um, for other cases, or on top of that, 
have a nurturing list and, and add these deals, add these contacts to, uh, to these lists. So you create a loop back to marketing to war warm up your prospects. Uh, for instance, depending on the, the reasons, the reason categories that you have, um, you may have different paths for nurturing, for instance, where it's a product to advance or product to complex as a last reason, send a content marketing to educate and build awareness. So a prospect may not be aware of the critical event or its severity at the moment. But you want to already surface the solution, so they have that in mind, top of mind. Alternatively, for product missing features, send a quarterly newsletter on product updates. All right, once you have the lost analytics implemented, coin that into successful sales. Share in the comments below the nurturing sequences that worked best for you to recycle the lost deals. Thank you and see you.